Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the MF Kit Build, taking a great kit guitar because we made it and making it awesome. I'm slightly insane, but this is going to be fun. Bear in mind you can win this guitar if you're watching this in July 2018. Enough. Watch the build. All right, you fantastic people. Welcome back to the MF Kit Build, taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome. I am on to the neck. And, you know, this is a very well-made solid. Um, I'm biased we make it here. It is an awesome kit. And it is what it is. It is based on a certain guitar, very closely based on a certain guitar. And there's not that much customizing one can do when the frets are in and the inlays are in and we're all sorted. What am I going to do? I'm going to do some engraving after the fact. I am not an engraver. This is not my forte. And I am also not planning on using uh, a loud engraving tool. I have several, but uh, I want to do this by hand. Now, the plan is that I'm going to have um, circuit board lines similar to what's on the body. It's over that way, but you can't see it, so it doesn't matter. And those lines are going to go be engraved into the Mother of Pearl so that it looks like the Mother of Pearl is actually a window into the internals of the neck. And the circuit lines are going to go up underneath. And so I'm going to engrave those and then uh, stain them either with a, uh, with a stunning stain or with a, uh, a stain shot or something like that, and we'll see. That's the plan. Before I do anything else, though, I need to grab a piece of Mother of Pearl and test which stain to use and test the engraving techniques. So let's do that. Mother of Pearl. I want something similar to what we actually have on the guitar, and that, oh, there you go, that will do. Mother of Pearl, okay. I want to uh, stick this down so that I can engrave it a little bit without it moving too much. One option, oh, that's very thin. Hmm. One option is to, you know, I'm going to do that actually. I'm just going to super glue this down, and then when I want to take it off, I'll heat it up with a hot air gun and it'll just pop off. Okay, there we go. Okay. getting in my way. Fellow blue stain. Now, on the actual guitar, I'm going to have to be a little bit more gentle uh, because I don't want to get the ebony. Always put the lid on. So there's obviously a bit there where I went too deep, um, and this is so thin that it just started cracking. <laughs> so there we go. One successful test. Now, well, onto the guitar, really. My idea was to have six different lines coming through. But that would actually be too busy, really, considering we have the strings. It needs to be geometric. So, so I'm going to draw a center line first. So we have a center line going all the way down. Hmm. It's a little big, but I could conceivably. See that? Yeah. 
not happy with that because well, that was the angle that was on the body. This here is a different one. So, really. You remember when I said that I thought that six lines would be a little bit too crowded? Well, we've gone for a whole hell of a lot more than that. By the way, if this goes wrong, I'm gonna have to replace inlays into an already fretted instrument. That is a nightmare. This is not going to go wrong. I'm regretting certain life choices. I could just use a scalpel blade. I have just realized something. <clears throat> when I was planning this video, the conversation went, oh, that job will take me about half an hour, so maybe we schedule two hours for it and it will be fine. Uh, this is probably gonna take me a little bit longer than the two hours. Maybe I should have said this job's gonna take me two hours, let's schedule four or six. Okay, pretty much there. Uh, having the camera right up that close kind of scuppered me uh, in a few places. I'm gonna have to go back with a slightly wider tool and uh, straighten out a few of these. But uh, progress, progress has been made. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. It's a, it's a total different that's one of the beautiful things about guitar building. There are so many different facets of it that uh, from woodworking to metalworking to design to paint and um, chemistry and all that stuff. Electronics, don't enjoy that bit. Anyway, uh, let's see how this goes. Do I need a chasing hammer? Let's have a look. This is what I'm supposed to be doing it with really. He who dies with the most tools wins, emphatically. Um, now, during the test for this, I, during the test for the engraving and filling the engraving with stain, I thought that it would be a good idea to just, you know, spooge on the stain with, with a rag, and that was messy and likely tinted the rest of the mother of pearl. Uh, the tool that I've been doing this awesome thing with the two prongs that grabs the ink uh, that I've been drawing the lines on with um, would actually do the job that I'm about to be all excited about. Um, I also have a very, very fine pair of um, tweezers 
and these are watchmakers tweezers they are particularly good they do the exact same thing and uh, because they are so fine indeed finer than than that tool i'm able to get right in each of these lines and just drop oh look at that you can't look at that you're over there oh no i think i'm so funny and then i visualize myself and i'm actually not that amusing so these are incredibly fine tweezers go and pick up a small oh. A small drop of the stain. I could probably use a pen, I suppose. But that's just far too. <laughs> I really rather enjoy this. So that one there I went a little bit too much. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the next one, leave it to dry a little bit longer before you uh, burnish anything off. I'm gonna have to sand that one down lightly. Let's try again. Okay, now, do a little bit of tidying up. I have a guitar here, it needs a neck. So, take the uh, masking tape out of the neck pocket, make sure that's nice and clean and dry. And uh, really, there's just a little bit of oil seeped in there. Uh, it's time to glue the neck in, really. Now, this is uh, five o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. I'm not due back in till Monday. This is gonna be clamped up for a good two or three days. A little bit of overkill, but not too bad. Now, the next thing is I'm also putting in uh, a relatively small amount, relatively small amount of the glue. I don't want too much spooge out over the sides. Okay, so, Nick, look at those inlays. I didn't do the inlays, I did the engraving. <laughs> I'm really enjoying my life. Um, Now, some people uh, went and talked about saying, oh my gosh, you've got a, you know, a single cut kit, but you've ruined it with a bolt-on neck. It's not a bolt-on neck. It's just a bolt-on style neck pocket. There's me clamp. Oh, I am only slightly prepared for this. A little padding is uh, is always always a good thing. Now the neck is really tight. I do want to have the clamp in the middle there. And there we go. Now. The reason why we had a single coat of oil, uh, mostly on the front and then just a little bit in here, was so that any 
squeeze out that there was would be easy to clean up off the body at least. And uh, well, there's only a little bit there. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> We've got a guitar. At this stage, it becomes real. So, thanks for watching. Do not forget, this could be yours. Go to crimsonguitars.com uh, if you're watching this in July 2018 and uh, enter into the competition. You know how by now. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying how it's turning out. There have been some uh, uh, gear changes along the way. I am really happy with it. And uh, in particular, that engraving. Come on then. See you in the next video. Click like, subscribe, mash that notification button if that's what you're into. Can you tell who I watch by, uh, by what I say? I can't believe I just said that. Um, please consider supporting our Patreon. It you know, buys us cameras and uh, editing suites and stuff. And it's really rather important to uh, the whole YouTube thing. Uh, not as important as you are though, so, well, continue being awesome. See you soon, goodbye.